Night falls in Manawa. For the last three months, that's been the signal for frightened residents to hurry home. An unofficial curfew has ruled Nicaragua as protesters man street barricades while government forces and armed paramilitary groups hunt them down. But in the last few days, the capital's nightlife has begun to emerge again. A few braver souls are starting to venture out and the relief at restaurants like La Taqueria is palpable. This place could have closed down and we would have been without a job. There's about 50 people that depend on it. The barricades have been destroyed. The armed masked groups are less visible than before. But that doesn't mean all is well. Everyone we've talked to said they're still scared. To be safe, we just cross from our house opposite this place. There's still paramilitaries around. At six at night, we head home and that's it. We're not safe in this country. Protests continue, demanding the president's resignation. But Daniel Ortega's government insists that everything's going back to normal. And so the pictures are there in terms of people enjoying themselves in restaurants, in discos, in bars at 10, 11 in the night. So I, I believe it's a progressive thing. That only half chimed with what we saw in Manawa. Outside of the capital, locals and journalists told us the streets are even quieter and more tense. The government's desperately trying to get the bar and restaurant scene in the capital going again, easing up restrictions on liquor stores and letting bars open up till five in the morning. But there's no quick fix to regain trust with locals and foreign visitors. Tourism operators say that will take years. And that's only if the fragile calm in the country holds. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Manawa.